Hey Seville Elementary 3rd grade, it's Mrs. Ludke coming to you live from room 19. I wanted to take a little bit of time to go over the packet that we sent home on Monday with you and your parents so that they can help you do what you've been at doing at school all year long. Um, we'll be posting videos probably once or twice a week and we'll try to go week at a time. So today I'm only going to do week one and kind of take you through the packet so that you again can see what we're doing. Um, and then you'll be able to comment back to us on either Remind, Bloom, Seesaw, or whatever media that you're using to contact your teacher. So I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, go through week one. Students have already started day one of week one um, and they were to read A Huntsman and Dogs. They're gonna be annotating while they're reading. And what we mean by annotate is they're simply going to be using an exclamation mark if they find something surprising, they might circle a word that they don't know or they don't understand the definition of. And then they can use their dictionary or an online media source to find the definition to understand the word better. And they're also gonna do a notice and a wonder chart, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. Um, and that's something that they're really familiar with doing, so it should be pretty easy for them. They're gonna do a math project. Now the math project is gonna kind of take all week um, they'll do a little bit at a time so that by the end of the week they'll have the project done. So a page a day is fine. They have a practice multiplication worksheet as well. And this week I believe it's a robot. So just make sure you have that finished as well. And last, we ask that they are doing some independent reading. I know the reading log that we'll look at in a minute says 10 minutes, but if we can do even more than that, that would be great. They can read any of their library books, any books that we sent home from school, a book that you have at home, a magazine. They can get on Epic. Um, they also should be able to log into Moby Max and use some of the passages there. And of course, um, Storyline Online is another great resource as well that we put on our resources page for you. So after that, um, you would go ahead and take a look in your packet and I'm gonna scoot to the other side and I'm gonna scroll down with you, okay? Our second week starts on the next page and we'll go over that later, but you can kind of see how it's all laid out. They'll have reading math, practice, and independent reading every day, Monday through Friday. And here's that reading log I talked to you about. So if you could put the date in that you read, how many minutes you read, the title that you did, and then have an adult sign it, that would be wonderful. Here are some of our third grade standards and expectations. It's something helpful to kind of look through and we also left some websites for you as well so that if you get stuck and you need something a little extra, then there's an option for you. We've also included kind of like a step-by-step -step assignment list, and those are on the next couple pages. Okay, so here's those notice and wonder pages I was talking about. Each story or each passage that the students will read will have a notice and wonder with it. And all we ask is that they notice something about the illustration that's shown. It can be something simple like I see a man with a dog and then you might have them wonder and they might say something like why does the man have a dog and then as you go through the passage then you're kind of looking to find that answer we talk about making sure the kids are digging deep and really coming up with a good question to go along with that one that notice a wonder is always a question each notice and wonder will have the title of the text right above it so that you can kind of keep track of which one goes to which. So you'll see all the notice and wonders for weeks one through three here, okay? And then all of your week one assignments are going to be in a row. So here's the huntsmen and dogs that I was talking about. They would analyze this picture, take a look at it, see what's going on in it, read, annotate, Okay, so those exclamation marks, finding words, putting a question mark, jotting down some notes in the margins, those are all things that we talk about in third grade. Our, the second passage is here, and you'll notice they have another artwork, another short passage, and then the questions are here as well. So the questions are what you'll start seeing pop up on like day two. We ask that the kids look through the passage to find the answers, maybe underlining them when they do, 
And when they write the answers in the spaces provided, make sure they're written in a complete sentence with good spelling, capitalization, and punctuation. And all the questions are here for each passage. So you'll just have to watch to see that you're answering the questions that were assigned for the day. And that'll be on that first assignment page. Here's a view of the math project. This is the first one that the kids are working on. So you'll see it's a little story. They'll read through. They have a multiplication chart to work with. Some information at the bottom that they'll need. And then that next page, they're really gonna start kind of figuring out how many of each item that um, the cowboys in this story, the movie producers need. And their answers can go on the blanks. So you can see that project goes, goes through the entire week. So like I said, a page a day will be just fine. Here's that multiplication row that I talked about. So what they'll do is they'll color the spaces with the answers. If it's more than 15, they color it red. If it's less than 15, it'll be black. And I always have the kids write in the answers first before they go ahead and color just to make sure everything looks good. And then those will be our assignments for week one. If you have any questions, go ahead and make sure to let your teacher know, like I said, either by Blooms, Remind, Seesaw, whatever app your teacher is using. And um, we just want you to know we miss you so much and we hope that you are all well. We'll hope to see you soon. Bye guys.